So I want you to imagine for a minute that you are going to the movies and you buy your popcorn, you buy your ticket, you go and sit down and they only show you the middle part of the movie. They don't show you the beginning, they don't show you the end. As a matter of fact, they show you the emotional climax of the movie. Really the part that's going to get you really frustrated and really angry. And that's all they show you. And then it, the screen goes up, movie's over, and you're thinking, what in the world just happened? Well, friends, a lot of times we can look at our circumstances in our lives and we can look at what God is doing and we can view it exactly the same way as we would that little movie clip. No, when we go to the movies, we see what has happened before the climax of the crisis, and then we know what happens as things resolve as part of the movie. Well, friends, our lives are the exact same way. It would be, it would be risky for us to judge what God is doing based on the immediate circumstances of our lives right now. And if you think back, if you think of your life as a movie, think about the things that have happened leading up to where you are right now in life. And the many times that you could have potentially said, well, with this little glimpse and this little circumstance, this is all that God has in store for me. And then you've seen how God brings you out of it. Well, no matter what circumstance you're in right now, God is moving your story, the movie of your life, along. It reminds me of one of my favorite passages of Scripture, Philippians 1.6. And I am sure of this, Paul says, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. You see, that's a wonderful reality for us as people who are following God. It's the hope that we have of the God who works in our lives is that he began the work and he's going to complete the work. And because he is a sovereign God, what that means is that he is going to be superintending every step along the way for you, for me, for us from beginning to completion. He's writing the story for us before we even recognize what uh, he might be doing in our lives. And so today, my encouragement to you is to look at where God has brought you from and think of the things in your life that you wanted in a particular way. And then look at how God has brought you to where you are now. You may even find that there are things in your life that you wanted that you realize the bullet that you dodged by God saying no to those particular things. You may realize a certain um, posture in your life that you have now that you didn't have before because of a trial that you went through, a lesson that you learned in a trial. And if you're suffering right now, if you're struggling right now, I know many people in our world are, know that God's story is not done for you yet. He is going to bring it to completion. And the hope of the gospel is that you can trust that God is superintending every step along the way. And our aim, our mission in the process of that is to honor him and to glorify him and to treasure Christ together.